How's it going, James? Online car show. Uh, got a really cool mod for y'all. Honestly, it's uh, been one of my favorite mods so far. Uh, went ahead and lowered the car with the BMR lowering springs. Uh, so without hesitation, let's get into it. Just let you know uh, I'm gonna give a quick review on this video I'm gonna show you all some before and after photos so you can see how much it was actually lowered uh, and, you know do the finger test on the wheel well and uh, but before we get there let's go ahead and give a quick shout out here uh, today we're gonna look at a channel called Bubba Blue uh, now this is a Mustang channel so uh, you know my fellow Camaro guys don't give me too much crap for this please uh, <laughs> But he does have a badass Mustang, I will say, and uh, it's really loud. Uh, he's got some really entertaining videos, uh, some humor in it, you know, as well as mods he's put on the car and so forth. Uh, so, you know, even if you're a Camaro guy, go check out his channel. Uh, you're you're going to have a good time watching his videos. Uh, he is a fellow Estonian, Houstonian like myself from Houston, Texas. Uh, well, I bet you're wondering why there's a Mazda 3 sitting here instead of a Camaro in my garage. Uh, no, I haven't traded the, the Camaro for a Mazda. Uh, it's not gonna happen. And uh, this is my daily driver for those that don't know me. I've got a 2006 Mazda 3. Found one uh, when I picked it up at about 40 or 50,000 miles. Uh, I think she's at 65 now. It's been a good little car, 30 miles per gallon. Gets me around work without you know having to put miles on the Camaro. Uh, and last night we put cross drilled brakes on her. Uh, she's going in right now for an inspection and I'm picking back up the Camaro and that gets me to uh, you know why the Camaro's at the shop uh, we're putting BMR performance lowering springs on her and I'm about to go pick her up right now he just sent me a picture and it looks gorgeous so uh, we're gonna go drive up to Phillip's shop and I'm gonna give you a shot of uh, his shop there and give him a shout out uh, I've known Philip for a while uh, and uh, you know check him out he's got some really good prices on his work uh, he's got he owns a ZR1 he's owned a Z06 it was cammed he knows how to work on these cars he knows what it takes he knows the extra care it takes to take care of these cars uh, so you know hit him up go see what he's got going on uh, if anything go by and look at his badass cars in the shop uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description to take the car in to get the alignment uh, I just want to talk about that and I guess some of the reasons I went with the uh, kit I did and uh, answer some of the questions that I had when I was buying the kit that I thought uh, were being answered on some of the videos but uh, they're different uh, but I guess we'll just get into what that is uh, you know I saw some videos out there saying this BMR lowering kit uh, wasn't gonna make a single change you know the drivability of my car the feel they can't notice it, any change whatsoever uh, I noticed the change in the parking lot driving it out of the shop so uh, and they did an excellent job uh, I do notice a difference though immediately driving uh, when I have it in track mode I can feel the bumps of the road slightly more I mean it's not bad it's not like you know those uh, Civics you see going down the road with their springs chopped. I mean, it's not bouncing me around or anything like that uh, It's it, but it is slightly rougher in track and, and the rest of the modes, but they're as you know uh, The sport mode and tour mode are a little bit softer uh, So it's gonna add a little slight stiffness a little more stiff to them But uh, it will be noticeable, but it's not bad and as you know tour modes already really soft. So uh, It's not a big change don't worry about that, uh, but you are gonna feel it. So, you know, what you're seeing from other videos or whatnot that are out there saying that there isn't a change, there absolutely is. I can feel it in the steering and I can feel it in the suspension of the car. Uh, it did get rid of some of the understeer, which I'm really liking. Uh, it seems like it takes corners, uh, it goes into and out of corners a little easier. So that tells me that understeer's probably gone down a little bit from the lowering. Uh, 
which I wasn't expecting to even feel that difference. I knew it would be there from the lower, you know, but uh, I didn't expect to really feel it. But that's actually what I was wanting and uh, I have no problems with it, I'm enjoying it. Also, talking, I talked to BMR on the phone about the Camaro, just to let y'all know, and asked them, you know, hey, what are, you know, I'm a guy that, in the future, I might autocross the car, I might have a couple track days, it's really just gonna be driven, you know, driven on the street, uh, but I would add, like a little more performance out of it, and I would also like, you know, take it up a time or two to, uh, Friday night street races at Royal Purple. And I asked him, I said, uh, you know, so what do you recommend with that in mind? Uh, you know, three mods. Uh, and you know, the springs, which is the first one here I got uh, for cornering and so forth, uh, he recommended being a must have. The second thing for cornering he recommended for the Camaro was to go with their, uh, their bigger sway bars. They have a sway bar kit, I think it's like $310 or so forth. I'm not sure on the install price on that. I haven't priced that yet. Uh, getting these installed, I think it was uh, right around uh, or under $600. Uh, that included the labor, the parts, etc. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, and uh, you know, BMR, you know, backs up all their products. They're a good company. Which you know, just like any big part like this, I always recommend go with a, a brand that's been trusted, that's on other Camaros, that you've heard other people talk about. The, I went with the BMR Springs. Uh, he did recommend the sway bars, and the third and final thing, just to get back to where I was going with this, uh, the third and final thing that he recommended on doing on the the bushings for the rear differential cradle. I'm not sure what you call those uh, rear diff bushing. Uh, it, they support it supports the cradle and so forth and it's where the Camaro seems to get a lot of its wheel hop from he said if you can replace one thing out of all their stuff to help correct the wheel hop the most that's what he would say would make the biggest difference so for those that are getting you know the wheel hop off the launches and so forth uh, the drag strip uh, the way you can fix that or the way the BMR recommended to fix that at least uh, you know if one part if you only had one part to do it, which one would you go with for the biggest improvement? And they said uh, the rear cradle uh, bushing. So I'm gonna add the sway bar, probably the rear cradle bushing, and uh, I'll probably do the strut tower brace. I think those are 100 or $150. Uh, and that'll finish up my plans for, I guess, the suspension on the vehicle. But, you know, go check out BMR stuff. They've got a bunch of stuff I found. Uh, they've got all the control arms. I've watched some really good videos where them showing under under car cams of the suspension before and after of their product. I recommend going out looking at that video. That'll sell you on you know BMR and what they're trying to accomplish with the Camaro. You know, and the reason I didn't go with Ebok and uh, HR and some of the other brands is, you know, Ebok and stuff they make springs for so many vehicles I just I, I just didn't feel comfortable with it uh, now they may be a great company but I like the fact that BMR is more specialized on certain vehicles uh, and I know they're also on a ton of vehicles too but it's not as much as Ebok and the attention that they've seemed to have uh, given the Camaro and you know the suspension problems that the Camaro has seen uh, really backed me up on you know my purchase with them uh, all the videos they had online I saw you know how to improve the suspension you know go out check it out uh, don't just take my word for it but there you have it they look great on the car I'm gonna go up now get the uh, alignment done and uh, give you all some final shots on the car I'll try to do it at a park or something uh, something nice for the alignment is find you alignment shop it'll do some kind of lifetime warranty. Uh, I did find brake check and uh, went up and talked to them. They seem pretty like, uh, you know, uh, a place where I could drop off my car and trust it, or I'm gonna actually stay up there with it. But, uh, you know, uh, it seemed like I could trust them or whatnot to do the alignment. So uh, $140 and that that is a pretty steep price compared to other ones I got, but it's lifetime. And they told me that it uh, warranties the car so if I keep putting suspension mods or anything like that, and I need an alignment in the future, that uh, that will be covered. So uh, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pay the 140. That way I get the lifetime uh, alignment. I know in two weeks, these uh, springs are gonna fully settle. And at that time, it, you know, it may be a good idea or I may wait a, three or four weeks. We'll see how, how many miles I put on it. But uh, at that time, it may be a good idea to go back and get a, get a final alignment done. Uh, and probably maybe in a year I'll do it too, just to be on the good side. But uh, might as well if it's free at that point, right?